In this video, we will discuss about the third translatome method that is translating ribosome affinity purification. In short term, its acronym is TRAP. So, before going into this process, let us understand what are the advantages of this TRAP method compared to the other uh, two methods that we have discussed in the previous couple of videos. Uh, first one is the polysome method. In polysome method, um, let us discuss the common disadvantages in polysome and the ribosome profiling method we need high amount of cells uh, or we can say large input uh, large materials is needed in order to do the ribosome profiling and or uh, polysome uh, methods in order to check the mRNA translation within the cells whereas in this method we do not need uh, that much amount of uh, raw materials and simultaneously it does not require or uh, along with that it does not require high cost equipment such as ultra centrifugation whereas it requires the uh, generation of transgene animal that are transfected with this plasmid or uh, a specific cell lines that are transfected with this plasmid which is not a, a major problem so let us now understand how this trap uh, method works with the help of this example so in this case what they have done is they have uh, made a uh, they have made a plasmid or we can say they have made a uh, sequence in which they have uh, tagged the gfp with the L10A protein and this L10A protein is usually uh, found in the large subunit of the ribosome so it will uh, binds to the ribosome and they have used the promoter uh, that is a creek promoter so because of this what happens is that uh, it will this plasmid whenever it is transfected into the cells and this ribosome will uh, and when we separate out the signals of this GFP, we will get the uh, ribosomes or polysomes RNA with that are polysome RNAs uh, in which uh, the largest subunit of the RNA contains this GFP L10A protein. So, how let us now go through the process. So first of all what we will do is we will inject this plasmid into the uh, animals on a specific uh, part of the animals or we can inject this plasmid into the specific kind of cell lines after that we will see the uh, uh, gfp uh, reporter in the cells and we can separate out this uh, polysome rnas with the help of this gfp l10a uh, reporters and in order to separate out this GFP L10 reporters uh, from the uh, ribosomes that are not bind to any mRNA or ribosomes that does not have this L10A, uh, we will separate out this using this anti GFP beads. This will help in separate out the GFP tagged ribosomes and the ribosomes that are not GFP tagged or then we can separate out then we can separate out uh, the gfp tech ribosomes for this trap rna sequence or uh, we can separate out this gfp tech ribosomes for this rna sequence and, and then in order to compare this uh, signals rna sequence and signals we need to have a control signal in this case we will use the signals with the in which we will separate out all the ribosomes that are GFP tagged or that are not GFP tagged and then compare them with the uh, RNA seq data in order to find out the relative expression of regulation or down regulation of a particular RNA. So in this way, this uh, trap uh, can be trap can be used to identify the to identify the up regulation of down regulation of a gene uh, within the cells or in a transgene animal uh, only dis the disadvantage of this uh, process is that 
the, each time uh, we need to make a vector that can be transfected into the uh, particular cell lines or in the particular part of the cells and this thing is more uh, suitable for the neuron cell lines uh, as it is as it has been uh, reported into the literature compared to the uh, other cases however uh, this uh, approach is applicable to different cell lines also so if you need to understand this trap mechanism in details or method methodology of this trap in detail how uh, this process is being carried out you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description that's all for this video thank you for your time